So over time you want to replace these blades. Once they get old, you want to replace them so they keep working. So this is cleaning the gravel. As we're doing a water change. At the moment, the pH is alkaline, so I'm happy with that. There's a tiny bit of ammonia in the water. That's probably just because we've disturbed everything. There's a tiny bit of nitrate in the water. Um, there is a little bit of nitrite in the water. Once again, we've disturbed everything, so I'd expect there to be some. Um, GH is pretty much zero, so I definitely want to add some GH salts. And then the KH is four, so I'm pretty happy with that. So all in all, considering how much crap we've got out of this tank, the water's it's really not that bad. It's something I get very mixed results from. Uh, I can use this in ponds and use it in aquariums and sometimes I get unbelievable results for breaking down all the sludge. Sometimes I'm very happy with it, sometimes it doesn't seem to do much. So obviously this is encouraging the growth of various bacteria that actually break the mud down and all the sludge down and sometimes that seems to suit your environment, sometimes it doesn't. If you have an aquarium which um, can be hard to implement filters on the aquarium, one option is undergrower filters and what an undergrower filter is is like a tray and we just custom make that to the size of the aquarium and then the tray will have uplifters and then these uplifters will um, use air to suck the water up so the water gets sucked down through the gravel and then when you're doing a gravel clean with your gravel cleaner that's how you clean the filter and um, you've got to make sure that the particle size are too big so it doesn't fit down these slots so particularly if you're going to use coral sand, as the coral sand gets older, then um, the coral sand can clog up the under gravel. And that's why it's safer just to use a small gravel instead of the coral sand, which is going to break down. And we can lay that on the bottom of the aquarium. We can have uprises um, connected to air stones, and that can um, suck the water up through the under gravel. And then we can have a very large um, filter capacity by having lots of gravel on top of the under gravel plate and then we just service it as we normally would using a gravel cleaner when we do a water change.